In this Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to snap to grid here in Illustrator. So the first thing we need is a grid to see what we're snapping to. So I'm going to go up to the View dropdown, down to Show Grid here at the bottom. So we're going to show the grid. There we go. So we've got this grid out here. Now you can edit this grid really quick by going to the Illustrator Preferences on Windows. That's going to be in the Edit dropdown here on Mac. It's going to be in the Illustrator dropdown into Settings, and then we see Guides and Grid. We can actually set our grid lines and subdivisions right here by pixel count or just type in whatever unit you want. And so you can make adjustments there. Now I'm going to leave this as is for mine. What we're going to do is turn on Snap to Grid. So we go to View, and we need everything else checkmarked or turned off, right? So we don't want to snap to pixel, we don't want to snap to point, etc. So make sure those are unchecked, and then Snap to Grid, we're going to click to check it on. Now, when we have Snap to Grid on, it's going to snap to this grid that we have set out here. So if we do something like uh, create a rectangle, for instance, and we click out here, even if I click in the middle of the grid, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, even if I click somewhere in the middle of the grid, it's going to immediately snap to the edges of the grid. You see how it snaps to every single grid line, every little square out here? So when I'm creating this rectangle, which we'll go ahead and flip the swap in the or the swap the stroke and the fill, and then turn off the stroke for now so that we can see the edges. Whenever I'm scaling, resizing, this basically snaps to the grid, almost like pixel art, if you will. But this creates, if you want to create pixel perfect work, this is how you can do it. Set up your grid, and then you've got this guy. Uh, anytime you create an object, it will snap to the grid. So that's how you can snap to grid, and make sure you turn off the other snapping options because they will interfere with this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, if you have existing objects in your uh, work, so if we go to view and we go back and we turn off snap to grid, and then we create a rectangle, you see this rectangle can move fluidly because it's not snapping to anything. So if I put it in between the grid lines, now when I go to view and then snap to grid, Right now, it can still exist between, but once I start to move it, it'll start to snap to the grid, but it kind of messes up a little bit uh, because this rectangle was created so that it's actually, whoa, too much, too much. Oh, I guess I can't spacebar when I use the zoom tool. That's weird. Oh, actually, my spacebar is not working at all. My hand tool, that's interesting. Haven't ever had that happen here in Illustrator, but because this rectangle is actually you know, it wasn't the size of a grid. You see how it extends a little bit beyond the grid line on one side. So either the left or right side will snap to the grid. So it's still going to be kind of off. So any object you created, you may have to resize and click and drag on an edge and make sure that you actually get it sized into the grid so that it snaps um, correctly with the grid, unless you want it to be off of that. But uh, more than likely you don't. So just keep that in mind for any object that was existing in your document already. That's how you can snap to grid here in Illustrator.